Hi there, it's Marlena from AppendantPurpose.com and today I'm going to teach you how to use Alpha Lock in Procreate. To show you what Alpha Lock is, I'm going to start with just this really simple drawing of a circle. To turn on Alpha Lock, I'm going to go to the layer, click on the layer title, and select Alpha Lock. And you'll see that when you turn on Alpha Lock, you're going to have a checkerboard pattern behind your object on your layer thumbnail picture. You might not be able to see that in this video because it's kind of far away, but you'll be able to see it on your screen. I can turn off Alpha Lock in the same way. And then if I want to use a shortcut, I will take two fingers and swipe to the right, and that will also turn Alpha Lock on and off. So what does Alpha Lock do? I'm going to select this color and select something a little bit darker. Make sure I'm on a brush and I'm on the Alpha Lock layer. And I'm going to color back and forth, and you can see that my new lines are staying within the pixels that are already on this layer. They're not going outside of the circle. If I undo that, turn off Alpha Lock, and I do that same line, it's going to be outside of the circle. So Alpha Lock actually locks the layer to, to the pixels that are already on that layer so that you can only change the pixels that are on the layer. And that's an important part to remember when you're talking about Alpha Lock because you are changing the pixels on that layer. When I change to this darker greenish blue color, it is no longer going to be this light blue color underneath. So if I try to erase it, I'm erasing both. So that's something to keep in mind with using Alpha Lock. So what would I use Alpha Lock for? I could use Alpha Lock and change the color of everything that's on a layer. So I could select the layer menu and hit fill layer and it's going to change my circle to the color that I have selected in my little color circle here. If I were to do that outside of Alpha Lock, say I wanna change it back, I have Alpha Lock off, I select the layer, and I fill layer, it's going to do the whole layer instead of just the pixels. I'm going to undo that, alpha lock, fill layer, and now it's back to blue. While it's on alpha lock, another thing that I can do is to do some shading. I'm gonna go just slightly darker on my color wheel here. Select soft brush in the airbrushing category Go on to my circle, which is on Alpha Lock, and then increase my brush size to, what did I go to? Let's say like 13%. And then I can just sort of color along the edges to shade a little bit of a shadow on my circle. I could do that also on the other side with white to give it a little bit of a highlight. Everything that I do while on Alpha Lock is only going to be applied to the pixels that are currently on the layer. If I wanted to change the color of the circle with a fill layer, so this time I'm going to pick a pink color. It's not going to keep the shading that I just did because it's going to change all of the pixels on that layer. So now I'm going to show you how to use Alpha Lock and a little bit more complicated drawing. When I did this drawing, I created my lines on one layer and then each of the colors is on a different layer. I also made it so that her face and her neck are on different layers from each other. And that was because I knew I was going to be using Alpha Lock to make some changes to this picture. Let's play around with her dress a little bit. Turn it on to Alpha Lock, and I'm just going to show you some of the things I can do with it on Alpha Lock. I'm going to choose a new color. So let's say I'm going to go a little bit uh, darker. is easier for you to see. So I'm going to go darker. I'm going to pick a texture brush, these circles, and I want to add circles to my dress. Since my layer 
my dress color layer is on alpha lock, I can color those circles or that pattern or texture onto the dress without it going into her skin. So if I undo that, take it off of alpha lock, it's really hard. I can do it, but it's really hard to miss the skin. And you know, I can, because I have my dress on a different layer, I can erase around where I don't want those circles, but it's just easier to alpha lock the layer and then color the circles in. I don't have to be precise then. So that's one of the benefits of using alpha lock for this. The problem with alpha lock though for this, I'm gonna color those back in. And let's say I want to change the color of them. I just would rather have it to be a little bit more blue. If I do that, it's just gonna put blue circles on top. If I drag it, it's gonna change the whole dress to light blue with blue on top. I can't just change the green circles. In fact, I also can't erase them because it will erase the entire layer. So the problem with alpha lock and what you really wanna think about when you're using it is that whatever you're doing to the layer, you're doing to the layer. You are changing the colors that are on that layer. You can't go back unless you can still undo. If I would have exited out of the program, I would not be able to get rid of those circles. So I told you that I kept my face and my neck on different layers. If I do an alpha lock of my neck layer, choose my skin tone, go a little bit darker, choose my airbrush, smaller. I can put a shade underneath her chin just on her neck without affecting the neck. So that's a nice way that you could do some shading on a drawing like this as long as you have separate layers. One of my favorite things about using alpha lock is that I can take my line drawing, which is currently black, and I can change the color of my lines so that it doesn't look as cartoony. So in this case, I'm on my alpha locked line drawing, so I'm on those black lines. I've selected the color of her dress. I'm going to select a brush, and I like to work with my favorite brush, which is dry ink, and I'm going to color over those lines. And as you can see, now it's going to blend in better with the rest of the illustration. So I don't have the cartoony black lines around everything. I really like this function of using alpha lock and it's one of the main things I would use alpha lock for. I mentioned this earlier with the circle, but the other thing I would use alpha lock for quite a bit is if I wanted to change the color of her dress. I would go to the layer of her dress, make sure it's on alpha lock, and I can change it to whatever I want by selecting fill layer. Now, I would have to then also fix my lines because I colored my lines to be in that previous color that the dress was. I could do the same thing with her skin. So go back onto the alpha locked layer and then you can change the color of the line drawing on her face, which again, the what's good about that is it makes it a little bit less cartoony. So now you can see that my shadow really makes it a little bit more 3D. If I wanted to do that with the hair as well, I could. So I'm, I'm using my gesture to pick up this color and then I could also change the color of her hair. But I do need to be a little bit more precise here because I have her eyelashes and her eyebrows as part of my line drawing. So I would just need to be careful around those areas. Now I've mentioned a few times that there are some pros and cons to using alpha lock. And the biggest one, if I go back to her dress, is that I, when I change things on the dress layer, it's going to change the layer itself. 
So if I go back and go back to my textures, I'm gonna use these lines and I'm making some stripes on her dress. Now let's say that I want to change these stripes and I've, you know, I obviously can undo them, but let's say that I exited, no longer can undo, I can't erase them, it erases the entire layer. When I'm doing something like that, where I want to change a pattern or something like that, I'm going to use a clipping mask instead. So I go up right above the layer that I want to use, so I'm right above my dress layer, I'm going to create a new layer, click on the title, select clipping mask, and it's going to do the same thing as alpha lock, so it's locked to those pixels, but it's non-destructive, so it's not going to actually change the pixels. So let me show you what I mean. I selected a dark blue color, and I'm coloring those stripes on there. And let's say I'm like, I don't know about those stripes. You know, maybe I could alpha lock my clipping mask and change those stripes to a different color because maybe I'll like that better. So I changed a different color, alpha lock, fill layer, and now they're kind of like a skin colored stripe. Okay, so let's say I want to try something else. I can actually turn that off and it goes away. I could also erase parts of it. So let's say I wanted to do stripes this way. I could erase in that way and have the stripes that way. And that's only affecting the clipping mask. So that's something you couldn't do in alpha lock. This is especially handy if say, I'm gonna turn off this and open up this one, which is a layer that has the whole drawing on it. So if I wanted to do a clipping mask here, and I'm actually gonna use black just to make it so that you can see it. I'm going to choose the dots. So now alpha lock, or my clipping mask actually, is the whole person. And so I have to be careful, sort of. I have to be thoughtful anyway. I don't have my clipping mask on. So I have my clipping mask on and I it'll only color in the clipping mask. But as you can see, since it's all on one layer, that it's going onto her skin, whereas when I have that dress separate, it didn't do that. But what I can do then is erase where I don't want it. So because it got on her neck, I can erase that. So that's kind of nice actually, because if I would have tried to do that, if this was, I'll just do it. If this was instead an alpha locked layer and I put those on there, I'd have to try really hard to not get those on her neck because I can't erase them. So I would use a clipping mask if I was going to do a pattern. Again, the, the top things I would use alpha lock for are changing the color of everything on the layer as we did here. So I can just fill layer and now her dress is black, but I would have to go back and change the line drawing. And that's the second thing I really like using alpha lock for is changing the color of the line drawing, just like that. And then I also like it for shading like I did in the circle in certain instances. Now you can do all of these same things in a clipping mask, but as you can tell, whenever you add a clipping mask, you're gonna add an additional layer. So this is the layer of stripes and it's separate from the layer of dresses. So if you have limited layers, you might not wanna use clipping masks that often, you might wanna use alpha lock instead. So there's pros and cons, but I just wanted to show you how to use alpha lock. I hope you found this helpful and if you did, please like this video and subscribe for more tips of how to use Procreate. And if there's something that you wanna learn about how to use Procreate, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to make a video for you. Thanks so much.